Okay, so what we want to do is we want to create a search page and on our site we're just going to put it somewhere like uh, up here in the header. Um, some examples of search pages on my uh, on my page you have a search here and this is great because people can find things. Um, I use it all the time. Uh, another example, this is the example we're actually going to build. So we're going to build this exact one. When you click it disappears which is nice and then if you click in and say you're searching for something it'll come up with a loop of, of that information and styled. So that's what we're going to create. And um, so first thing you want to do to get this working is where do you want to put your header? Well, there's documentation online and it's here. And this tells you everything you need to know about creating a form. But I'm going to walk you through the quick steps here. Um, inside our header, we've got um, this image here and uh, that was adding a banner image. We're going to remove that and we're going to drop in uh, not that, we're going to drop in this and this is the form, uh, the function that's going to get our form. The next step is we've got to create a, a file. And that file is called searchform.php. We're going to put it in our theme and it's just got some HTML We've got an ID saying what this form is going to be called, and we give the form uh, itself an ID, and we have an action that says um, when it's submitted, just send it to the website's home URL, and we have two inputs, and the number one thing is the name on this input is important because the PHP is going to use that and append it to your string, so you want to give it a name of S just to keep it simple, you're also going to have a submit button and in this example I'm tying it to uh, a transparent PNG and I'll explain this um, as we move forward but so this is our uh, our HTML and now we are going to see what it looks like in our page and when we refresh our page we lose that banner which we really didn't need anyway because it was a background image uh, we should have added that with CSS so why don't we do that now so all I did is I added my header in my CSS, gave it a background image, not repeating width and height to match our design. And then when you view the page, it's back to the way it was before, except we got a search box in there and this image isn't clogging up our structure. It's where it should be because it's purely aesthetic and it's in the CSS. So now we got our form and when we type in there, it uh, looks kind of cool. now. What's missing there is if we go into our HTML, another cool feature of HTML5 is they have a placeholder attribute, and that's why the search appears. Um, now what we want is when we click, the search to disappear, and the person can type in, and when we click out or blur, uh, it appears again. So focus and blur on the form, we want that to work. And we also want our form styled, so let's style our form. So I created two images from Photoshop, I had a PSD, and I just uh, basically created this and and I made it a JPEG normally I make it a PNG but I wanted it to um, fit in with the gradient background and the JPEG was uh, what I chose in this case I also have a transparent image what I'm gonna do is I'm going to place this transparent image over this icon and then use JavaScript so that when they click it um, it will trigger the JavaScript to uh, submit the button Next thing is in the CSS, I point to my image, position it, don't repeat it, give it a width and a height. The width is 226. Then I got to work with the input box and I make that transparent. I don't give it a border. Um, whatever text is going to go inside it, I give it this color. I'm going to float it left. Uh, the position is going to be kind of small. Um, height and the width here is 155. And this is a trick. Um, in order to get that transparent image working. And then um, my submit button, I'm spacing it out, taking the border off of it. And the last thing is the text color. Because I'm using placeholder, I want to style it for both uh, all of the prefixes. So that's all done there. Um, and let's see what it looks like. Okay, so that's the style. And uh, I click in there. The text doesn't disappear. We have to fix that. And there's uh, this isn't working, um, so we're going to continue that in the next uh, screencast.